So it's been a while since you or I have gone to the dentist. It's been longer for me. I went two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> Friday. That's today. So Tuesday, you went. Conquered. I was I was conquered. <laughs> there you go. Tuesday. First opinion. Yeah, I went, and they checked me out. I thought that I was gonna have some um, some issues in my lower right because that's been bothering me that's mainly what i went in for that and a uh, chipped and slightly fracturing tooth on the front um and they told me that every single tooth in my mouth needs work and so i asked what would you recommend i start on like what area should we start on and he goes pretty much you could tell me anywhere in your mouth and i would say that's a good that's a good idea. Good place to start because it's all horrible. I'm like, thanks, doc. <laughs> I'm glad you like my smile. Um, so long story short, he not every tooth, but just about every tooth, he said needs a crown, which is insane. And he quoted me thirty thousand dollars. And he said, don't worry, I'll break it down for you. We'll do six teeth on the first visit, and we'll just go from there. First visit, $10,000. <laughs> Didn't help. <laughs> Wednesday. Second opinion. So, get a second opinion. I walk into the office, and I explain to them the situation. And I told them, hey, just came from this dentist. They quoted me $30,000 for a thing. And like, we, we, we'd have to drain all of our accounts and whatever to even come close. And it still wouldn't make it. And like, how are we going to make this work? And she goes, $30,000? It's like they want to put a crown on every tooth. And they wanted to put a crown on every tooth. And so went to that dentist. And they wanted to put a crown on every tooth. And... They were a little more gracious. They they accepted our insurance. The first dentist didn't, but they brought the price down to around twenty two to twenty five thousand. And it was so the be... front six teeth that the other dentist was going to do for ten thousand right. dollars. This one was going to do for, for six thousand six hundred six hundred dollars. So different nine thousand seven hundred and twenty two, and six thousand six hundred. Yeah. To get the thirty thousand dollar opinion, cost. $370 to get the second opinion. $120 to get that. Thursday or Wednesday night. Wednesday, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. I was up all night working, also Googling on the <laughs> side. And I'm looking, I, I thought maybe, I mean, we're, we're trying to entertain everything. Allie's at work that night, she's looking all over the internet. I'm looking all over the place like how can we make this work where can we like some surely there's some way to fix my mouth for less than a fortune um because that just seems so ridiculous and I thought well maybe other states because we're in California and it's a little more expensive here I remember back home in Alabama the prices weren't so steep so I, I started looking like where are the cheapest states to do dental work and like one of the first results that came up when I'm typing in cheapest state for dental work was cheapest country for dental work. And it leads me through this whole mass of websites of people that have traveled abroad to go have cheap dental work done. And I'm like, well, this is too good to be true. It's shoddy dental work. There's no way this is going to work. This, this is crazy. And the more and more I looked into it, it just is like, this is it. This is, this is the answer like there's so many testimonials of people that have had successful visits and the price is like a third of the cost uh, the the dental uh, practices that I looked into 
where here they would charge one thousand to twelve hundred dollars per crown per tooth the practices there would charge three fifty to four hundred dollars per crown and so we brought our total for the work down to around eight thousand five hundred dollars or so for your whole mouth for my whole mouth where at in mexico mexico i love it if i'm pronouncing it right it's in los algodones mexico i might be pronouncing that wrong right outside of yuma arizona you like 10 miles away skip the border and go to your dentist and it's this town that's like super small but it's it, it, like the whole town is founded on dentistry there's so like every corner's got dentist on it and it's just crazy but like for less than my first quote for my the first quote for my front six teeth first less teeth than that man. they give yeah. me my entire mouth yeah um so we're packing tonight and i'm leaving in the morning early to head to arizona and mind then, you it is friday yeah it's so friday. tuesday first opinion wednesday, wednesday second, second opinion. opinion wednesday night could we be going to mexico i don't know by yesterday he had an appointment made for this coming Monday Thursday in appointment. Mexico. Friday confirmed. He's spoken to the dentist. He's spoken to the hotels that he's going to be staying at. Booked a flight. Booked a flight to Yuma, Arizona. And with with everything, like with the dental work, the flight, and the hotel charges, it's still cheaper than much, the first appointment. Much cheaper, still yeah, Still cheaper yeah. than the first six teeth at the first appointment. So. Praising father. Crazy amazing that father led us here and it's an adventure too so that's kind of cool mm -hmm. so fly to mexico done first opinion said they could take one month second opinion they would need two weeks more. for one piece <laughs> More than one Mexico? Four days. How much? The difference of these two being is this one in the US this one same date time but is in Mexico <laughs> so as mentioned apparently this this big thing is called dental tourism I have I've had rough teeth my entire life I um, obviously did not take very good care of them when I was younger and it's hard to bounce back from that after so long of neglect even in adulthood when you do want to actually take care of your teeth um, but in all of my years of going to the dentist and all the work I've had done never heard of dental tourism never heard of going to other countries for, for your dentist or for any kind of medical work but there's apparently this boom of like tons and tons of people that, that do this I mean you search online and some of these dentistries in other countries have like thousands of reviews from Americans and from Canadians and like people that are like within our networks of of dental work um, that go over and, and have these things done I mean you you've got on the list here Mexico Thailand Bali Malaysia Costa Rica, Philippines, Vietnam, Colombia, and this is just on Dental Departures, who is who I went through. Um, and they offer like 32 different countries on their website. Like there's tons of places you can go. And it's not just dental tourism. There is a whole slew of people who do medical tourism as well. I've heard now that I've mentioned this to people, I've heard um, m about more and more stories of people going to uh, specifically to Mexico for medical issues, for cancer treatments and stuff like that, and surgeries. And so I it's just, care. what's eye care? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like iPhone. 
I, yeah, like I, little I, I, I care. care. But optometrists. Optometry. And pharmaceuticals. Yes, it's totally not just a dental thing. And we might be, like, I don't know, learning about this way later than everybody else. So if you're like us and you're late to the game, you have arrived. <laughs> and we haven't even arrived yet. <laughs> We're on our way. We're on our way. So we are currently in Lodi, California. And we're gonna, I'm going to fly down to Yuma, Arizona. If you get in there. So Yuma's airport is right here. And Los Algodones is right here. So you literally get on the interstate, drive to the border, and you're there. And it's this little bitty border town that like is like here's the Mexico, California and the Mexico, Arizona border meets here. Like everything is super walkable and so right weird. over the border I'm staying in this hotel here, the Hacienda Los Algodones and my dentist that I'm going to is Castle Dental. So there's the hotel, there's a the dentistry and it's just like walk up the street pretty much. Tickets to Mexico. Well, have two tickets to Arizona, <laughs> not to paradise, but to Arizona, <laughs> which is close. Yeah. Are you like, how are you feeling? Cause you're only a couple hours away. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped. Yeah. Actually. I am. I'm excited to see your journey. It's my first vacation without my wife. <sighs> Don't remind me. It literally is like the longest. We'll yeah. This ever is the longest we've been apart. apart. What's the longest before this? Before like a day, a week. Okay. maybe a day. I don't even know if we've been for a think... day. No. And we've I think been. Like... This is a year and a half into marriage almost. Cam is just about to clock out of work, or did you just? About to. About to. And then we are gonna head out because it's time to get him. Oh. Time to get him to the airport for his six o'clock flight. And yes, I've already had a meltdown. No good. <laughs> I will be doing more video on the website that I went through, how we did background checks and research and just the results along the way. Um, I'm not gonna take the big camera. I'm gonna take my iPhone and have a little more inconspicuous videoing. We bought a super cheap little doodad from Walmart just so I can like take some, try to take some decent shots with my, my phone in Mexico. So maybe we'll get some decent footage and some good information. Cause if there's one thing I noticed when I was looking and researching is there's not a lot of video. Like there's a lot of blog posts and like reviews and stuff, but there's not a lot of video actually showing this place and showing like what's going on and, and how good it is or how bad it is. So I want to get like the best immersive review I can get while we're going or while I'm going. 